بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم We continue the discussion on the merits of the companions may Allah be pleased with all of them and what we will discuss in this part is uh, Al Khalifa Abu Bakr Al Siddiq radiyallahu anhu his name is Abdullah bin Abi Quhafa Uthman bin Amr son of Amr son of Amr son of Kaab son of Sa'd bin Tayn son of Murrah son of Kaab so he connects with the lineage of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Murrah the son of Kaab the sixth grand uh, father of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it is said that his name uh, in the pre-Islamic era was known Abdul Kaab and that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam named him Abdullah and from his famous nicknames Al-Atiq and the other is As-Siddiq the truthful one Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was born in the second or third year of the year known as Amul Fil, the year of the elephant so his birth uh, came after the birth of the Prophet وسلم, by uh, two and, and a half two and a half years and he was raised in Mecca and was involved in commerce and trade and most of his uh, trade uh, was in clothes and his wealth reached uh, 40,000 dinars this is the gold currency in their time in one report and another report uh, 40,000 dirham 40,000 dirham and this is the silver currency Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was knowledgeable and very knowledgeable in lineages to the extent that he was considered best or most expert in this field especially in the lineage of Quraysh was most knowledgeable concerning the lineages of the tribes of the people of Quraysh and uh, most knowledgeable as to what uh, what kind of good and kind of evil uh, with them and he was a beloved person in his people amongst his people uh, agreeable uh, and also respected for his knowledge and uh, trade and uh, good company he was raised on uh, noble character it's not known that lying was something of his character and he was a generous man extensively or, or uh, uh, yes very generous and uh, he did not uh, like uh, the idols in the pre-Islamic era no report whatsoever indicates that he offered any kind of worship to them and also it is known that he radiallahu anhu 
did not drink alcohol or consume it before Islam and it is reported that when he was asked did you drink al-khamr the alcoholic beverage he said a'udhu billah I seek refuge in Allah and he was asked walima why he said I used to preserve my honor and my character that is because the one who drinks the alcohol will lose his honor and his character uh, before Islam he was a good friend of the Prophet والسلام, and it is noticeable to know that the depth of the friendship between them uh, arose due to the closeness in apparent uh, or manifested character and good behavior and it is affirmed that Ibn Dughna described him in the beginning of Islam by a description so close to the description which Khadija gave the Prophet at the time of start of the revelation and Ibn Dughna who was a mushrik despite he said despite that uh, that he mentioned that when Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu made the determination to migrate to Al Habasha to Abyssinia, he told him the following: "In mithlaka la yahruj wa la yuhraj, the like of you is not to leave nor to be forced to leave. That is because fa innaka listen carefully. This is like exactly the same description that Khadija radiallahu anha gave." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. فإنك تكسب المعدوم وتصل الرحم وتحمل الكل وتقر الضيف وتعين على نوائب الحق. That is because you help the poor and the destitute. You keep good relations with the kith and kin. You serve your guests generously and assist the deserving calamity afflicted ones. Isn't it this almost the same as the description which Aisha radiallahu which Khadija radiallahu anha uh, gave uh, of the Prophet والسلام, describing him? Remember that when he came after receiving the revelation to Khadija and he was frightened. Remember that? You see the closeness? in the description of the character of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu and Ibn Hajar rahimahullah commented that Ibn al-Dughna quote described him by the uh, by that description which Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha gave or described the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa when he was uh, uh, when revelation was uh, came down to him when the revelation came down to him so they came on one description without something without concurrence without concurrence and uh, this is the utmost in in, in this in, in, in praising him uh, now that is because the descriptions of the Prophet والسلام, from the time you know, his early time was a perfect uh, character <sighs> Some of his physical appearance, as Aisha radiallahu anha described his fa her father, Abi Bakr, white uh, in, in, in physical appearance, with some yellowish uh, and nice build up. And uh, narrow uh, waist. His garment, lower garment, would fall off. Uh, thin shin, and used to dye his hair with uh, 
الحناء والكتم and uh, Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu had six uh, children three males and uh, three females and they came from four of his wives first Qatila bint Abdul Uzza gave birth to Abdullah and Asma and uh, Umru Man gave birth to uh, Da'ad bin Ta'amir uh, gave birth to Da'ad and uh, bin Ta'amir uh, gave birth to Abdul Rahman and Aisha And Asma bin Umais gave birth to Muhammad. Let's repeat. First one, Qatila bin Abdul Uzza gave birth to Abdullah and Asma. And Umm Roman, Umm Roman Dad bin Amr gave birth to Abdul Rahman and Aisha this is a correction and Asma bin Umais gave birth to Muhammad uh, bin Abi Bakr and Habiba bin Kharija bin Zayd al-Ansariya gave birth uh, to Umm Kalthum after Abu Bakr's death ok now clear One only. Yeah, the two last. Uh, Asma bin Tumais. Asma bin Tumais gave birth to Muhammad. Okay. And the last one is Habiba bin Kharija bin Zayd al Ansari. Bin Zayd al Ansariya. And she gave birth to Umm Kalthum after his death, after Abu Bakr's death. Clear? Okay. Tay. Alhamdulillah. As to his Islam, we learned this in the previous uh, discussion when we narrated the hadith from Sayyid Bukhari and the hadith of Abid Darda. Uh, that is when some of the companions uh, had uh, dispute with Abu Bakr. Uh, the Prophet وسلم, said, In Allah ba'athani ilaykum faqultum kadabt. Allah has sent me to you and you said, uh, you belied me. And Abu Bakr said, Sadaq. And Abu Bakr rather said, Sadaq, meaning he is truthful in what he says. And we discussed this in the previous uh, narration. You remember that? The story of his Islam. In this hadith, uh, there is indication of his Islam without any hesitation. Uh, <clears throat> and concerning those who accepted Islam early, Ibn Kathir, Allah, Ibn Kathir, Rahimahullah, mentioned that the Islam of Abu Bakr was more beneficial from the Islam of the others because he was a notable and respected uh, person and a leader in his Quraysh, an honored leader in his Quraysh and a wealthy person and a caller to Allah 
uh, to Islam and he was uh, beloved and liked and spending uh, in the cause of Allah and his messenger. Okay, we'll stop here inshallah and we continue. the other parts regarding Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiallahu anhu in the next talks inshallah.